Well, good morning um, to all of you. I hope you are <coughs> bright and awake after having a, a fun evening uh, out in that city uh, yesterday. My name is Jeff Mulgan. I'm from the UK's National Endowment for Science, Technology and the Arts, and I have the job of traffic policeman this morning as we try to cover quite a lot of ground with a wonderful array of luminaries around this table. What we're going to talk about for the next hour and a half is the relationship between the city, technology, and creativity. Uh, and it's a very complicated set of relationships which many people have got wrong over the last hundred years. Uh, many generations of futurists predicted the end of the, the workplace, the end of the school, the end of the university campus, uh, and so far at least, have turned out to be completely wrong. We've seen ever greater concentrations of creativity in particular places, and even the highest technology industries like aerospace or, uh, or programming that seem to depend on a deep craft which resides in particular places and human interactions between people. Again, contrary to most expectations uh, of the past. We will explore a little bit, I hope, some of the relationships between productivity and fun is there actually a relationship between urban prosperity and fun? Or is, in fact, Silicon Valley a slightly better signal uh, which is not known for its cultural uh, excitements uh, but seems to do pretty well in other respects? To kick us off, we have uh, Richard Sennett, who you will all know, who's given a hint as to what he's about to say in the title of his talk. Richard, over to you. <laughs> <laughs> 